gamers, welcome to a new game. This is a visual novel game, and the title is Locked. Um, I think it has good reviews in Steam, so I got very interested. I like visual novel game because basically it's another type of storytelling RPG game. You know what? Let's not prolong this. Let's get right into the game. Oh, we're starting right away. One, two, three. Can you hear me? I'd like to introduce myself. I am the Dark Lord of Darkness and the master of this game. You, you don't look like a Dark Lord to me, Lady Red Moon. Can I part? Oh, the music! Uh, ooh, I'm starting to like this. The music is nice. And in part time job, I am the mascot of the team Red Moon Games. Okay. I'm here with an important assignment. As a team leader, Red Moon Games is pleased to present my. Well, I mean, our game, Locked. This is our first game, which we tried very hard. Get ready, it's gonna be fun. Oh, you. The F. It's, it's gonna be fun, I guess. Wait, 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 I almost forgot. Better play with headphones. I am. Our composer tried very hard. Be sure to check out his work. Well, that sews it up. Enjoy the game. Oh, okay. I'm, I like the, how, how the game looks too. Another day of my life was wasted. Why did I even try? My destiny is eternal. My destiny is eternal part. Uh, what, what does that mean? In person, no one will dare to give the job to a guy with such a dull complexion. Nothing has changed since I graduated. <laughs> Story of our lives. No, since I moved away from my parents. And if I didn't get the money, bar none. And there is no pretext to see her. What is this? No need. Looks like I finally got lucky. The owner of the thousands of in, uh, what, the owner of the thousands of invisible. So you can pay a visit to my favorite spot. Yes, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Welcome to the bar Polaroid. At least order something this time. Oopsie. Every time she greeted me with these words, I ceased to be offended. Damn it! I come here to order, lady. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I don't take it seriously. Although every joke has some truth, <laughs> it's half meant. It's half meant. When someone jokes at you, it's half meant. She has a peculiar, pecu peculiar sense of humor. It's very sad. But I didn't care because today I was going to ask her out. Ooh, so you drink? The moment of truth. Will I be able to tell her? Now my choice depends on everything. As were they. I can, I can, I can. I can. L listen, you don't want to go somewhere? What? Well, go somewhere. Ever with me. Are you crazy? I don't even know your name. And you might. Here is the opportunity to meet her. Wait, wait. I have not said yes. So you, you refuse me? Are you stupid? I did not say that. This means... Eh? Oh, wait, what was that? Again, head hurts. We should finally see a doctor. What the hell was that? I didn't remember the events before the attack. Blackouts have become a familiar part of my life. But I remember the main thing. I asked that girl. Nope. Nope. And she was... And she has a weak... What the hell was... And she has a weak didn't show up for work. Leave it just like that. I could not. And having overcome myself, I went to the bartender. Okay, what is happening to the music? The waitress? We did not have it ever. We're too small to afford additional staff. But how? I came here just for her. Maybe she works a different shift? No, the guy besides me, there is only one bartender and the owner. What the hell is happening to music? Are you hearing this, gamers? But this is your waitress. What's her name? Uh, I don't know. You have an inter interesting reason to sit here. Anyway, this girl we have never worked. Can't be. You're lying. I don't know why, but lying. It is better to have, behave calmly. You seem like a good guy, and I don't want you to drive. Some hell's going on here. How do I behave calmly when I all when when all pretend to it doesn't exist? What is this? Piece of paper sticking out of the cracks in the floor in the bar. No, not paper. Photography. Old building. 
and I ain't know what. An old mansion, a very bad place. Before going on and on about the maniac, but then a group of enthusiasts spent a couple of nights. Now the theme of the day became ghosts. Why ghosts? One of the brave ones who decided to stay there died. Nope. I thought this was just gonna be a very light visual novel game. And now felt that my life was missing something important. I thought about it every day and then one day fell asleep on a table. <gasps> Freaking hell. Help me. I woke up from a ter terrible scream. Me scream. Visitors were a dissatisfied look in my direction. But I didn't care. This is it. It's really her. I know this voice, this manner of speech. She needs help. The next few hours pass in a fog. I don't. I didn't remember. Ran out of the bar. Don't remember. Got into a taxi. Don't remember how I got to the mansion. And here I am. I have a place that no normal person will not come back. But I had it. I knew it wasn't just a dream. That's been almost a month. It's there. I'm sure. When I touch the door handle, the skin shiver. Even if you do not believe in the ghost stories, the mansion remained the same. He was terrible. Geeky animal fear, wrong place. The door creaked, went to the side, opening my eyes black. On the street, it was already dark, and inside the mansion, rain pitched darkness. So thick that a knife can cut. I didn't want to go there, I wanted to do as usual, score. To go home, sit at a bar, and never think about this place. But this time, I took a deep breath and stepped forward. Why? Darkness immediately swallowed me, and then I felt consciousness float away. Where am I? No! Who am I? I'm terrified of opening his eyes, and saw nothing. Fumbling hands, I couldn't find the walls. Only the rough wooden floor beneath me, and a bunch of dusts. This room is clearly not long enjoyed. Ooh, we're in a creepy place now. When the eyes... A little accustomed to, I could make out the outlines of the corridor passing into the distance, but it all didn't matter, because I didn't remember who I am. No, not so, I had remembered, but everything is so vague. If you think I can remember a bar, some girl, a warm feeling associated with it, can't remember her face, and your name, think my name is Max? So with that understood, now we need to go. You need to leave! put my hands in front of him and carefully went forward. Step, one more step, my hands came cr across something. Stair, railing, leading down. Well, if there is no other way, there is not to stumble and not to fall into the darkness. Stage treacherously cracked. I would not like to fail and get stuck or break his neck. Ooh, another step. Like with my weight in this ladder cope, my heart was banging like mad. So, need to come down. I can wind. It's just an old scary mansion. In which I found myself in a mysterious way. I'm perfectly safe, no doubt. Damn, damn, that scared me too. My heart skipped a beat. I grabbed the railing so that the fingers ached. After a few seconds, it dawned on me that I'm not falling and still standing on the stairs. Is someone here? My head instantly flashed scenes of horror movies that featured abandoned mansions. Like it was a girl. Oh, the shabby room with strandy wallpaper. This wallpaper here. It's a shabby room with. Okay, there were no windows. The lamp on the wall was periodically blinking, lighting only the entrance to the room. Ugh. In the dark, I saw a small silhouette, something busy, and therefore not to pay attention to me. My feet, something flash in glass. I suddenly realized that something is wrong. It was too quiet. The noise that I heard during the fuss is unknown. The silhouette stopped and apparently looked right at me. Hmm. What are you doing? Come on, help me out. I'm sorry. Fight, I have not heard a word. Are you deaf? Help to pick up the pieces. Some nonsense. Not something I'd expect to hear from a stranger. <laughs> well, okay, of course. Her lack of courtesy, but the girl refused. I could not. Sitting down with her, I began to pick up the pieces. Silence was interrupted with the sound of the blow of pieces of glass together and happy, an unhappy sniff of a new friend. What? Reaching for another shard, she got out into the light and I saw... Ow! Oh, it's not a ghost. The girl. 
Simple girl, a redhead with green eyes. From the pocket of her jacket, sticking out a Polaroid camera, and knee is all red. From the girl of glass, pieces surprisingly quickly, as if the twilight in the room she did not interfere. I could not help admiring her graceful movements. She's not moving. Some sometime we silently search for the pieces of the lens. Finally, I decided to interrupt her long pause. Why are you doing this? Hmm. Not to be cut, short and clear. And most importantly, what more to say? Okay, I'll try again. Um, you live here? Then, such a response I did not expect. In what sense? Let me finish here, then everything else. What is she thinking about? Some youngster will talk to me like that? Um, let's answer carefully. Look, one in this place can be scary and everyone is close from strangers. That's fine, but I'm in the same situation, you know? Uh, you're the only one here is terrible. Get over yourself who do not understand. Ah, I don't understand. Dialogue. Is it just me or is she blushing? Finally, she got up, dusted himself off and turned to me. Give glass. She held out her hand. I carefully poured the shards into her palm and she, in turn, gently put them in his pocket. Wait, why are you calling him? I, I, I'm no longer, I don't know anymore the point of view. That's my name, Hoshi. It would be rude not to introduce myself. Yes, right. I was embarrassed. Guess I never asked her name. I'm Max. Ma Max and Max. Nice to meet you. Again, there was a pause. I felt out of my ele element, but Hoshi seems to have been still. This is Hoshi, right? Well, that is a, what is this place? The mansion, don't you see? God, this is gonna be harder than it seemed. I understand, but where exactly are we? The girl looked at me like I'm insane. It touched me especially. I did not ask how many will be twice two in the end. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> All not over... Out of the time me. I have to find it. What? Who? None of your business. She reached down somewhere in, in a corner. Well, that's great. Only inhabitant of this place is clearly insane. And suddenly she's looking for a knife to stab me? Oh no, and once I made step to the door through the witch, I entered and felt like, uh, okay. Bending down, I picked up a small bundle of black, what, black what, in the dark. This will never find. Yielding to a sudden impulse, I turned him around. In Inside was a brass key with a beautiful beard. What? It was engraved with something, Max. Oh, you found it. Hoshi got out into the light, removing the hair strands of the web. Come here. She held out her hand. Uh, no, I'm not gonna give you the key. She continued patiently looking at me. Why my name is on it? How I got here and why, what is this key? He does not want to answer my question. I will understand myself. Then keep it. Oh, she purse, pursed her lips, clenching his, her hand. Ah, uh, who's the girl, right? The, why you, I, I'm so confused. You want to usurp my thing? Ooh, what the usurp your thing? What? Are, what are you saying? Steal my key? Okay, whatever. So does it, it doesn't matter. She's not exactly all in, he, in the head. Well, everything went. Oh, she headed for the door, which was located opposite to the stairs. Uh, the girl's face is obviously as her reluctance to explain anything. Or do you like to sit in dark, scary rooms? Listen, I gotta get out of here. I don't know where the exit is. I don't even remember how I got here and... Understood, understood. I know where the exit is. This match I, cl I clambered up and down. Great! I like a stone fell from the store. You gonna show the way? Sure, why not? Still nothing to do. With those words, Hoshi opened the door and left me left the room. I heard after her. We were in the corridor, the same old and battered like everything else in the mansion. My opinion again caught a new friend, so unsuitable to the surrounding atmosphere. How someone like her could live in a such place. The lights flickered, what really got on my nerves. The mansion made a strong impression. It was uncomfortable. A feeling almost physically felt on the skin, causing waves of tingling throughout the body. Are you Katoshi? I'm glad you're here. Why are you muttering about? Uh, glad I was not here alone. Without me, you just lost. Yet despite the behavior, I, I was felt some tension. On the other hand, I too would be worried if last miss of... Oh, I don't understand it. Looks like she's in pain. All this time, she suffered. 
Uh, my attention was attracted by something. Okay. <laughs> okay, um... Alright, so... I'm gonna end the game. Well... I, don't, I didn't plan to do a review for this game. I just wanted to do a gameplay, but... I, I want to give out the good stuff in this game. So, the game... The game looks nice. I think... I think the... No, it's not I think. The music as well is really, really good. And... The art itself is beautiful. What I just don't like about this game is the translation. I felt that you got the original language and then you just put it in Google Translate and put it in the game. I don't understand the story, but I think there's there's a good story here. But the reason I don't understand the story is because of the translation. <laughs> I hope, I just hope that the developers would do give an update to fix the translation because I think this game is beautiful. I think this game has potential, but I just hope that there would there would be an update for the translation so we could understand the story better. I was reading the whole text. I could understand a bit of it. I think I know what's going on, but then again, I, I don't know exactly what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I hate to be brutally honest, but fix this translation and I think we have an absolute good game here. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. More RPG games coming if you want more of those contents. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.